This video demonstrates a simple implementation of Forth, written in Python for the HP Prime. I took a small, simple, educational implementation of Forth in Python, which was less than 200 lines of code, and ported it to the HP Prime version of MicroPython. I also added a number of standard Forth features that were missing, including control functions, do, loop, plus loop, while, and numerous stack operations and other functions. Floating point operations have also been included. However, they use the same stack rather than a dedicated stack, as Python lists can hold any type. A number of prime graphic and system functions have also been included. The prime fourth implementation is now around 500 lines of Python code. The prime fourth implementation does not attempt to be complete or standards compliant. However, it includes enough functionality to be useful for calculations and programs where users are more comfortable with Forth over PPL or Python. The implementation can run n queens for an 8x8 board and a simple graphics game. Forth is demonstrated on the virtual HP Prime, so it is easier to view. n queens and the snake game will also be demonstrated on a physical HP Prime. So we'll run Forth, go to programs, Forth is already loaded and execute it. See the prompt, it's the standard Forth OK prompt. If there's anything on the stack, the prompt will be followed by colon. So we'll start with some interactive examples. Two, three, four, plus, plus, dot to print the result, gives nine. Five, six, seven, multiply, plus, dot, to print the result gives 47. Variables are also supported so we can store results. So we'll create a variable y, store something in it, one, two, three, four, y store, and then we can do calculations using y. So two y recall multiply print the result as expected. We can also do variable arithmetic. 1000 y plus store y recall print the result as expected. We can also create our own words in prime fourth. So here's a simple example of creating a fourth word that loops to calculate the sum of squares. So we'll start defining the word with colon then the name of the word, ssq, zero, swap to set up the loop. Uh, the three dots means it's waiting for more input. One plus one do to start the loop. i to recall the loop value. Duplicate, multiply to square, add it to the running tally. Then loop. Print the result when the loop is finished and finish the word. Now we can execute that word by putting in a number, SSQ. So that's the result for 5, 10, and 100. And you can see that it runs fairly quickly. Mathematical functions support floating point by default and do not require dedicated functions or a floating point stack. Although this is not how Forth normally operates, it is probably more useful for performing calculations. So I'll do some examples now. So 10 for divide, print the result, gives 2.5. Results can be truncated to their integer value also. So another example, we do 10, 3, divide, duplicate, print the result, we get 3.333. But we can int that and print the result and get 3. Fourth supports loading of fourth command text files. 
both can be entered into a text file and added to the Python application via the HB Connectivity Kit and then used with Prime Forth. This provides an easier way to create and develop large complex Forth words. I've already added a number of files that will be demonstrated. However, in the Connectivity Kit, if you browse to the application library, then to Python and files, you can see the files that I've added and you can add your own fourth text files by selecting add file. And then they're available to load in the fourth environment. The star and stars words output one or more asterisks to the terminal. So I can list the file list stars and we can see the two simple words created there one to admit an asterisk and one to loop and emit multiple asterisks we can now load the program with load stars and test it five stars space five stars and we can see the output A number of graphic functions have also been included. So I'll do a quick example of some of the graphics capability, which will be further demonstrated in the game later. CLS clears the screen, it clears the graphic and terminal screen. Then we put in some line attributes, X and Y where we want it to start, and X and Y where we want it to finish, and then the line command. Then we can do a circle, Again, where we want it, X and Y, and radius, and circle. And finally, a rectangle, where we want it, width and height, and a filled rectangle. Now, to ensure the graphics stays on the screen, we'll wait for a key to be pressed. So the graphics commands we've entered in forth have been executed and we can see the results there. It's now waiting for a key to be pressed. So we're back to forth. The color can also be changed. There's commands to set and retrieve the color. N queens will now be demonstrated on an 8x8 board. So N queens has already been added to the Python environment so we can list it. and you can scroll back and see all the code, including variables, words, to print the results and calculate n queens. Now we'll load n queens. It's loaded. Let's clear the stack. And we'll execute n queens on an eight by eight board. So it runs quickly and gives a result as expected for the n queen solution on an 8x8 board. I'll now demonstrate n queens on a physical HP Prime. The additional words entered are ticks, which returns the millisecond timer of the Prime. So using ticks before and after, we can calculate how long it took N Queens to run for an 8x8 board. I've already loaded the program and entered the command ready to go. So we can see the result returned for N Queens is as expected, and it took about 2.5 seconds to run. I'll now demonstrate the simple graphical game Snake on the Physical Prime Calculator. I've already loaded the fourth words and I'm ready to execute it. So 
we run around the board using the arrow keys, hitting the apple while the snake gets faster and longer. And when we hit ourselves or the wall, the game ends and tells us how long the snake was. Potential future enhancements to Prime 4 include string support and more error checking. Fourth is a well-established, easy to learn language and making it available on the HP Prime further expands Fourth's availability to existing Fourth users and their library of words and programs. See the description for more information on Forth and the programs used in this demonstration. A download for this program for the HV Prime will also be included.